Degree just has a great feel to it. It does. Culture is sometimes an overused word, but we sat here yesterday at practice and, and marveled at it and talked about it as McClung knocks down the three. That shot was. Texas Tech is going to have to run much better offense against this Kansas defense. The first several times down, they really didn't get the shot they wanted. Step back jumper for Ochai Abaji. Good job on the glass and excellent job defensively against Creighton. Yeah, 13 or more points in each of the other six games. McClung baseline off the glass and good, and he's got an early five for the Red Raiders. Now just an under Bob Knight here. Quite a bit, except they incorporate a, a far more ball screens. Bob Knight was not a ball screen advocate, but Chris Beard is. Tyreek Smith with the block, running the floor, and the putback at the the other end Rouge with good plays at both ends of the court. Well, he's very athletic and runs the floor hard, and that's what Texas Tech is going to have to do. They've got to get buckets in transition. Not on since then, and hopefully they get to the finish line. We get a great NCAA tournament this year, trying to get games in as often as they can. Abaji with a quick first step with Wilson to the other end for the Jayhawks. Anytime Abaji's in the corner, you're looking lob, and I think that Texas Tech was worried about taking away the lob and a smaller lineup in the game for Kansas even though that you got a, a big guy in Mitch Lightfoot he's not he's not as big as McCormick nice chat stretch four written all over you right I would have right? been a dominant stretch four <laughs> Ivy League player of the year <laughs> Abaji with a flush and Kansas has tied it Kenji just like they didn't expect it this early from Jalen Wilson but boy it is nice when you're pleasantly surprised by a player Kansas done a pretty good job of playing defense so far without fouling because Texas Tech back on top Big fan of Terrence Shannon. He's going to be an NBA player someday. Good pass. Dewan Harris finds Mitch Lightfoot for the bucket. Harry rebound because there's they're all scrambling around because of the Texas Tech defense. McClung somehow gets out of the double team and it'll be a jam for Micah Peavy. Straight up, that's usually an automatic call with the shooters protected. Garrett trying to shake his defender, lobs it up for McCormick. Kansas by three. Their lineup, right? The five perimeter guys out there for Kansas. A turnover. McClung in transition gets it to go, and he's into double figures with 11. The dribble, not settling for jump shots. Tristan and Aruna as Kansas breaks the pressure, and Grant Foster with a bucket. Nice. And no, both teams have gone cold. We expected a defensive struggle with the defensive numbers these teams have put up in the early going. Abachi with a good look. Harris with the assist. Kansas extends the lead. On the next play. Burton trying to find some space inside, and he does. Burnett, rather. Namari Burnett, the freshman from Chicago. Clearly the message from Chris Beard coming out of the timeout. Now they got to get something going. It'll be Shannon for three. What a shot. Not known as a three-point shooter. Teams, both teams have to do a better job of setting up their cuts and then cutting hard, back cutting, and making sure they deliver those passes. And Kansas going inside. Well, McCormick was, according to Bill Self, Kansas' best player in the preseason. But they thought he was going to be an 18-10 guy. He may still be, if, especially if he's the early post. And that was a fluid post move that he went into right away. That right-hand jump hook over the left shoulder. He's got five points in the first minute of the second half. The answer for McClung. Dribble is bad spots. McClung for three. Look at the rebound by Smith. Back up and in. Yeah, first time for you being in an arena with fans this year, right? Yes. I mean, other than people who are fans of you. Another offensive rebound. This time it's Micah Peavy. The top shot blocker for Kansas because of that great athleticism, but the offensive glass. Texas Tech is going after the offensive glass teams. And I think the best defensive team is Baylor. We've talked about that. They've got the best defensive backboard. And I don't think it's close. Almost an offensive foul by Garrett. Who finds Abaji who knocks down a three. And boy, did Kansas need that. Strong drive and a finish by Shannon. And a chance for three. That's a difference this year. He's really attacking downhill more than he did last year. Just a straight line drive. That was a big time play. And Aruna went to the bench. Now Garrett on the drive and lays it in. Well, how about Marcus Garrett on that pass out, not going for the shot fake of McCormick? How about that shot? Shannon 
just had to force it up and got it to go. Both big guys, McCormick and Santos Silva, playing with three fouls. Heavey, turn around, got it. Oh, Shannon, no. Rebound Brown. Kansas was down seven. They've got it down to three with the ball. A chance to tie. And they do. Abachi. Great pass. Oh, he's working hard to try to get it. Instead, it'll be Harris for three. How about that? Don't want Texas Tech. McClung using the screen. Can't get the shot off. Good, good decision to drive it. Shannon. Beautifully lays it in to tie the game. Belt leaving McCormick in there. He's a, an experienced player. But he's got to pass that back out when he's got a guy right behind him if he's not going to make a quick move. Ochai Abaji with his fourth three of the game. McCormick and Brown playing with four fouls for Kansas. Santos Silva for Texas Tech. Shannon buries the three. What a second half he's having. But, they're not getting those slot drives, nothing straight line. Wilson's had a quiet night. Drives, cradles, and hits. Boy, how about that finish? McClung might be the guy to do it. He'll give it up to Edwards. They swing to Shannon. Baseline, Burton. Got it! Tie game. McCormick. Back to Garrett. Driving and scoring. But it's a set play, obviously, a little bit. And that was a really strong finish to the left. Ten points, ten rebounds for Garrett tonight. Shannon again. Got it! Inside to Abaji to get Kansas the lead. We ran a little loop action to get the ball to McCormick, and then the second cutter was Abaji. Beautifully run. So it comes down to this. Edwards lost it. Well, it was a timeout. The timeout was called. A timeout was called by Chris Beard. Shannon, who's had a huge second half, blocked by Wilson. Wilson has it, and Kansas wins it. Jalen Wilson with an enormous play at the defensive end in the closing seconds, and the Jayhawks beat the Red Raiders by one here in Lubbock. Good job here. So stay in front and then put pressure on the shot without fouling. Shannon faded away. That might have been good for a shot fake and go into the defense. But boy, Kansas executing out of bounds, both offense and defense late in the game to pull off a road win.